Hello to all the Epiball guy family and friends. It's Thursday. It's Greg time. Here we go. Hope you guys are having a fabulous week. If this is your first time checking us out, we're just a couple of guys who like to vlog about what's going on in our lives. And you've stumbled upon this channel. And I don't know. That's about it. So I uh, hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, this week has been... Uh, been a pretty busy one. Getting ready for a oops, sorry about that. Get ready for a uh, big youth event tomorrow night. We're doing a lock in, and yes, that is as great as it sounds. <laughs> uh, we are starting at eight o'clock tomorrow night. We're running a lock in all uh, all night long uh, from eight to eight is what we're doing, and uh, we are calling it the Battle of the Sexes lock in. And so it'll pit the guys versus the girls in a bunch of different competitions all night long. Uh, and so it should be a lot of fun though. We put a lot of effort and planning into it. So hopefully we have a really good turnout and, uh, it, it should be, be some good stuff. Hopefully I'll capture some video of it and, uh, maybe I'll upload it, uh, on my next video. So who knows, who knows what could happen. I don't, uh, I've had, uh, good experiences with lock-ins in the past and I've had bad experiences with lock-ins in the past. Um, the first one I ever did I didn't, uh, not, the, not the first one I ever did, the first one I ever did here at the church, I didn't really do a good job of planning it out, and um, I ran out of stuff to do at 2 o'clock in the morning. We started at 7, and by 2 o'clock in the morning, I had done everything that I had planned to do, and we were not going to be done until 8, and so, you know, I had 6 hours still left of stuff to try to come up with, and when you've got 30 teenagers running around the church with nothing to do, bad things happen. Um, you never know who winds up in a corner somewhere with somebody else and what they might do. Uh, Alex got a good story about a lock-in that he did at the church that he was at in Memphis. So, uh, if you're, if you're curious about that, you ought to get him to tell you about that particular lock-in. He told me about it one time. Hilarious. Hilarious, I tell you. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that should be some fun stories there. But anyways, yeah, that's what we got gearing up for this weekend and then next week's Thanksgiving, so, uh, you know, be looking forward to that, because uh, gobble, gobble, turkey, turkey, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, Hope's doing a lot better. Uh, last week, uh, she was sick with an ear infection. We found out uh, at the end of last week that she also had bronchitis, so we got that squared away, but she's doing a lot better now, so thanks for asking. You didn't ask, but I was telling you anyways. Uh, last night, I went, uh, I went to another church last night. Uh, to just kind of go view, I went down to the Capitol Church, which also just happens to be uh, the church I grew up in, and I uh, went to their youth service last night, and they were they have it in the same room that we used to have ours in. I mean, a lot of remodeling and stuff like that's going on. It's changed it up, but uh, that's kind of nostalgic. I kind of made me miss some of those old days of going to going to youth group with the guys and uh, hanging out, doing drama, the good old days. So. Uh, Think about that for a moment. Think about the good old days in your life. Think about back in high school or middle school, whatever the thing, the people that you used to enjoy hanging out with. Do you keep in touch with them? Uh, I keep in touch with a couple of them, hence this thing. Uh, so, uh, but anyways, think about, uh, if, you ha if you think about it, uh, think about the people that you used to hang out with, and if you haven't talked to them in a while, why not drop them a line, see what's going on in their lives. Maybe y'all can reconnect, catch up, and uh, maybe even just see each other one day or something like that. So anyways, there's your feel-good moment of the day. I uh, hope you guys have a great week. This is Greg. I'm going to jump off of this thing saying peace out later.